Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm Speeder. Okay, welcome to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. In the last one, we infiltrated a quarry, took out some cultists and two corruptors, and we spoke to Olin for the first time in a while. In this one, we're going to continue a side quest that we started last time, where we need to help out some people who are grieving deaths of family members after the, um, what are they called, the Red Raids, I think? Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Some Maseram girl applied to the city guard the other day. <laughs> Amazing. This feels like it's the priest. I'm not sure. Maybe it is clearing something out, but I'm not sure. This must be the Shrine of Kings that Naman told me about. Every time I go near the statue, he shouts at me. Osram slaves built that thing. We deserve to have a look. It may have been much for the magic. It's ours now. It's a public monument, not his private shrine. Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know Every what time I go near the statue, he shouts at me. They built that thing. We deserve to have a look. You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Every time I go near the statue, he shouts at me. Osram slaves built that- Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon. I thought Avad taking the throne was the son's will. The boy dishonored his father. Dishonored us all. To kill a son king. What shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad son king have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The son called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. You called the temple corrupt, but aren't you one of its priests? 
They call themselves sun priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So that's what this is. A tantrum? A cry for attention? You know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me. Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city, so I guess you have no authority here. Uh, I have the authority of the sun! Then call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Here to Avadi. He may dress a bit too fancy, but he's made a place in the sundown for the Asura. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. Smoke and sweat. That's how you know you've done a good day's work. Shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. Not enough fight in this one. Oh, 
bump, board bump. Nutritious. Is that enough? I'm not sure. Oh! Freaking finally. Double upgrade of that. That's great. Need as much war bone, I just get like a bunch of war bone. <laughs> I think I was wrong though. I don't think it's necessarily the sacred lands. Where the Banuk wants to paint his mark. I don't think it's necessarily the sacred lands that have more boar. I think it's just like the fact that I was looking in a desert as opposed to like this drop. guys are so much fun to fight, you know? Guys. 
is so annoying to fight. relatively safe spot, but it's definitely not perfectly safe. scanning for me.
Can stop tensing up. This seems to be the highest up, so also therefore the most dangerous. like one set on fire away from being done. You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glintocks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. Might regret this.
hardy little plant. You'll help. Naysay Doom is an exploitative mess, but it was announced at last year's under, Undertow Holofest that notorious schlock provocator Ross, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, Lloyd Stroud, was rapping uh, post-prod on, on an immersive historical drama about the not notorious Naysay Doom cults. The news was met with, well, let's be kind and say, trepidation. Stroud has shown himself to be a talented, if needlessly edgy, craftsman of shocking inter interactive hollow pop. pop. But Naysay wasn't some technical monster or science fantasy trope. It was an actual real-world atrocity nearly two decades in the archive. And while some critics, myself included, wonder if the hollow would turn out to be Stroud's longer return to a more respectable fare, most predict a disaster. The first hour would make you think that the cult's greatest crime was the torture trope prediction of Harriet Chow's overwrought monologues. Data corrupted. Interesting. Like trying to the This uh, is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. Yeah, snap moss. Funny how both of the machines I have to hunt are weak to fire. A lot of machines are weak to fire, actually. Make this quick.
Dawn breaking. Every time's different. me. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. See, as much as fast travel hacks are helpful, at least when I'm low on resources, I like to need them soon walk enough. places, to gather them along the way. Time 
fast traveling. Say it's rather less exciting. And got caught in that noble girl. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Well, past you, I could have sworn that I saw the gun. I've got all the best goods here. Is it just me? Bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosing. That's what a damn shadow card to be So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. I love that quest, actually. Okay. So... I think... This is the next quest I want to do, because it's right... It starts right here in Meridian. And I'm tired of seeing... Question the steward optional Can I interest constant. you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? Every single time I enter Birdie and I see that, there's like... Goods here, see for yourself. Don't pass up Won't these cost you a shard. Hmm, yes. I remember you. Did you find the vessels I seek? I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to del Hmm, yes. You look capable. Y you might do. Come here if you will. Find goods for a fair price. Your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? 
let us speak of it. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching a sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Still more blood. The thief got cut. Trailing's here. But someone must have seen that thief. I've got all the best goods here. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Check out these wares. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. They do. Somewhere up north. We are paying. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. The where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. Captain of the Vanguard murdered. Won't cost you a shard just to look. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. They're necessities. Before I do that, I'm gonna go save this campfire. That is all the time we have for today. Um, we got a lot done. We finished a quest helping some mourners, and we started a new quest called Robbing the Rich. So we're going to continue doing that. It is one of the quests I've done uh, in my previous version playthrough. But anyway, that is all for today. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.